This is the view on the border in El Paso, Texas, where millions of Central American migrants have crossed the border as Title 42 was set to expire, a Trump-era policy that has allowed the U.S. government to expel millions of asylum seekers under the premise of reducing the spread of COVID. Just as the policy was set to expire on December 27th, the Supreme Court ruled to keep the policy in place indefinitely. Williannis is just 18 years old and made the 3,000-mile journey from Venezuela with just her cousin and uncle. She shared her motivation for leaving her home country in hopes of making it to her final destination, New York. Jose Miguel and Diomar met along the way with their most important goal being to find work in the States. Por la situación y por un mejor futuro para nuestros hijos. Trabajar que es lo que venimos, trabajar y salir adelante. Yo quiero llegar a Canadá. Reina is a mom who has been traveling from Venezuela since October with her two girls, Dulce Maria and Antonella. Her hope is to give her daughters better opportunities for education and a better quality of life in the States. When asked what the hardest part of the journey was, all four of them gave the same answer. Pues en realidad de todo, el único país que se nos hizo más complicado de pasar fue México. Pues porque la gente de migración no nos dejaba subir, que porque que si los papeles y eso, y nos daban los permisos, pero no nos rompían en la cara y así no nos dejaban subir. Aparte de la selva, bueno, el amigo que agarró el tren, pero yo aparte de la selva, para cruzar todo México, la verdad. Desde la selva, eh, duramos cuatro días ahí adentro, ya el paso por la... Desde Costa Rica hasta Honduras fue muy difícil ese paso. Y ya México, que es muy grande. Despite Title 42 still being in place, Central American migrants are still in pursuit of the American dream for themselves and their families. Many are hoping to catch buses to different cities, New York, Denver, and Chicago. Until then, thousands are stuck sleeping on the streets of El Paso with nothing but the clothes on their backs and the hope of a brighter future that lies ahead. This has been Mariana Garcia reporting for Cal TV News.